My name is Laura. I am a full-time caregiver for my father. When he is feeling well, we go on adventures. I love my father, but being a full-time caregiver is stressful. My chosen stress reliever is dirt therapy. Hey everyone, it is Thursday, July 20th, and it has just been too hot to be getting dad out. We've not been doing much the last few days, uh, just trying to keep him in the air condition as much as possible, and sometimes that means I have to be the bad person and say, no, we're not going anywhere tonight, it's too hot. But I thought I would let you all know that the Avocado Pit Saga continues. You remember, I was out weeding one day and plucked what I thought was a weed up out of the ground and it turned out to be the avocado Guess what pit. it is. Well, the story continues. I realized that when I remembered that was there, that I'd actually planted two, but I didn't know what had happened to the second one. Well, guess what? Originally, where the raspberries were was about three feet over. You can see where the grass is not growing very well. But that's not where the blue raspberries were growing. The raspberries were going in this area. So I moved the trellis. However, when I had planted the avocados, it was within the frame. That's why I forgot about them. So you saw me pluck the one out of the ground, and here's the other one. It happens to be in the exact spot where the mower stops. The mower deck does not reach it. And if you look at this plant, it has totally been protected. I have no idea how I'm going to get this thing to survive through winter, but for the moment, it's here. Let's go check on the other one. So here is the avocado that was outside. It, uh, the leaves kind of fell off for the most part, except for the one. It uh, seems to show some growth up there on the very tip. So far it's alive. I don't know if it'll survive inside or not. I really don't know what I'm going to do with the one outside. If you have any suggestions, please comment below. Should I yank that thing out of the ground also and bring it inside? Or maybe I could build a tropical greenhouse around it. That would be a project for Travis, wouldn't it? While I'm doing updates, might as well keep rolling here. Here are the mulberries. Pretty sure this is a failed attempt. There are so many variables. It could have been that I didn't use root enhancer. Could have been the wrong time of year. It could be that I used straight compost in this pot and I didn't mix it with any any other kind of dirt. So I'm not giving up on it. I'm just going to have to start over. And we'll see what happens next time. And let's go check out the peanuts. And here are the peanut plants. They have had a rough go of it for sure. First, I planted them pretty late in the season. Second, they had a rabbit come chew on them. Then they've gone through two massive rainfalls. And each time we've had the massive rain, it has washed all the dirt around from the plants, uncovered the roots and everything. I keep covering it back up with compost. And they, they still are growing, but I noticed that I don't have any blooms. So... Don't know if this peanut experiment is going to be a success this year, but I'll definitely try again next year. Well, that's about all I got for you tonight. Uh, it is still pretty warm, even at even at 8 o'clock at night. It's pretty muggy and not very comfortable to be out here. So, I uh, 
got lots of stuff to do, there's no problem there, but being comfortable while you do it, that's a different story. I do have some tomatoes coming ripe, and I've been pickling cucumbers and green beans like crazy. I'm still doing cabbage. And you remember earlier in the year when I said I get impatient and I get all my plants planted and in the ground and planted my pumpkin way too early? Yeah. I'm going to have pumpkins in July. That's how early I planted them. I don't think they'll last until Halloween, but oh well, I had fun planting them. Well, that's it for tonight. See y'all later.